Ricky Pearsall, man, quick NFL before we go back to college. You know, none of you guys saw, got shot in the chest in San Francisco this past weekend uh, after a, a, an attempted robbery. You see video right here, footage of him, uh, thank God, walking to the, the, the ambulance. He got a big hole in his chest. Uh, you know, obviously since then we've heard word that, he, that he's stable, he's good. Apparently the bullet went in his chest, out of his back, but it was clean. Didn't hit any vital uh, major organs. And, um, man, I mean, uh, you know, thank God he's just okay. I guess for me, man, my, my overall thought is that these young folks, because the guy was 17 years old who shot him, and uh, his name hasn't got, you know, came out because he's technically a minor. But these youngest don't have any respect anymore. These youngest don't have any fear of consequences either. And when I say that, I mean, I mean it in multiple ways. Fear of consequences in the sense of, like, you don't know – what this cat could have did in retaliation to you, because I think they were fighting for the gun, and the seventeen-year-old actually got shot too. They both got shot because they were fighting for the gun. That were Ricky was trying to fight them off. He got shot, and then, and then the guy got shot. So number one, these guys have no fear of what could happen to them from a physical standpoint. Number two, they have no fear of what could happen at home. You always share a story, JB, of yourself or your personal life when you went to jail. And your father came to visit you, I believe, on Thanksgiving, I want to say. And he had to look at you from the other side of the glass. And you and you just felt it was the feeling you described was just of, of just disappointing your father. And, and you said you would never do this again because of the look that he gave you through that glass. These young kids, JB, in my honest opinion, they don't have that 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 fear of disappointing their parents. Now, listen, every household is different. Maybe they don't have parents or guidance or grandparents or whoever guiding them. I don't know. But. Even for the people who do have that at home, I don't feel like they care anymore. And there's no rules to this game. There's nothing. These guys will pull up on you in broad daylight, 2 p.m., whatever the time is, and try to take from you, man. And, and, and will shoot and kill without even a, a, a bat an eye. And I just think that it, it, we're just in a, a just a bad place. Again, now killing and shooting and robbery been going on since the beginning of time. So I'm not saying like this is some brand new stuff, but it just feels like, and obviously you're older than me, so you can you can attest to it more or break or dig into it more. But it feels like back in the days, it, it was at least some rules about this shit. Even when it came to to to, to game banging and, and real like it was structure. It was certain stuff you didn't do and certain time. You just it was rules behind this stuff to where I'm not saying they made it right. But at least it was like some order to it, where now it's not any order, it's straight chaos. And I just want to say, I just thank God that Ricky Persall is, is, is okay. He's had a, a hell of a just start to his NFL career. He's getting injury after injury after injury, can't really get going during camp. And now he's out here walking around and he, and he gets shot. And, and this guy, Ricky, isn't no, he hasn't played yet. He's not, he's not a big name or a big face or anything like that. I think he's at the wrong place at the wrong time. They saw this white dude, probably had a a watch on or something that was nice, and he just wanted to attack this guy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, JB. Those are just my initial thoughts, and I just wanted to at least touch base on this before we move forward. Yeah, listen, um, good take. I Here's the thing I have, the issue I have. Number one, California is a third world country, and I'm watching my state turn into it in front of us, but so are so many others. And this ain't the first, and first time we've ever seen this. But let me just talk and keep politics out of it right now. You already know how I feel about the politics part right. of this. I'm going to be honest. All these sanctuary cities are falling apart. They're all becoming third world countries, number one. Number two, as a coach, okay, I have to tell Ricky Parasol and these young cats that exactly what Spinney just told you guys is what needs to be reiterated to my players and Ricky Parasol. Number one, you're a little white boy that's in Frisco and you're wearing a Rolex. Let's, let's got, we got to be smarter, homie. It is what it is. These cats don't care. And back in the day, if the, ga the gangbangers cared about one thing, and that was athletes. Athletes always got a pass. And if you didn't give them a pass, guess what? Even the little BG cat that got and shot an athlete, he got dealt with by the OGs. Athletes got passes always. Now they don't because these young cats have no structure because of the structure that the state of California, Pennsylvania, uh, Chicago, Georgia has allowed. That is the period. There's no re rep there's no repercussions to these violent criminals who are doing these things. 17 years old. Guess what? He's put on to do it. They told him to go do it. And Ricky Pearsall gave him a reason. And the reason is my issue. I Listen, I'm going to walk around Billy Badass and wear what I want to wear and whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, and I'm going to talk all that shit. 
But if you're a young cat in the NFL, that Sean King's about to jump in here and tell you what that means, can't you got to be smarter right now and know where you are and know mm-hmm. how we move. You don't just move any old way in any old hood, homie. That's just it's just it's gangbanging one on one. It's street smart one on one. You don't move this way. This ain't your area. This ain't your space. And you don't have security like that. You don't have your partners. You don't have your homies. Shit needs to be understood. I got to be smarter than this 17-year-old fucking idiot who doesn't care about anything other than getting that watch and killing Ricky Pearsall of San Francisco 49er. Right. That's, that's clout for him and his boys. Right. Can't right. be putting people in harm's way. Let's bring-